Hello everyone, uh, Cujo here. I figured I'd do a short video today. Um, I've, I've done a few with the autopilot, the KFC 150 autopilot. Um, I figured I would simulate a, uh, a random hold uh, using the autopilot, or at least how I use it. Um, so, you know, maybe this will be interesting for those of you um, maybe uh, studying up for the instrument or thinking about uh, doing the instrument. Um, and that maybe have access to this autopilot. But I think the, uh, the approach I use is pretty similar for various autopilots, but I'll, I'll try and capture exactly what's going on. So um, I'm on my way back from a quick stop in Peoria. Um, I looked at my uh, instrument plate here, and uh, I saw that there's a waypoint ride up here kind of in the middle of nowhere. So I'm just going to say uh, that maybe I, I'm on an instrument plan. I'm not, but let, let's say I'm on an instrument plan and they have me hold north of, of Tribe. So uh, just for ease of use here. So what we're doing, you know, we're, we're cruising. We're 5,500. I'm just going to keep it at 5,500 uh, for the hold. And um, we're, we're direct to Tride. So they told me we're going to hold north of Tride. And uh, so we're, we're direct to Tride. As you can see um, on the autopilot here, we're altitude hold 5,500. We're on the nav mode. Uh, and the nav is obviously set to Tride. If, if this were to hold north of Tride, and we're going to assume standard right-hand pattern uh, for for the hold, then this is going to be either a, a, you know, so technically I guess it would be a parallel entry, um, although you can also do a teardrop. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do a, a teardrop entry. Once we fly over Tride, uh, we're going to do our teardrop. So what I'm going to do is, you know, I'm on the nav mode, so I'm going to use my heading bug, and I'm going to do about a 30 degree to the left with the heading bug. So, as you can see there. So we'll fly over the, wa the waypoint, tried, and then I will switch to the nav, oh, sorry, to the uh, heading bug mode, and then that will turn us 30 degrees for our teardrop entry. And basically, I'm just going to switch between the heading bug mode and the nav mode, um, I will have to change uh, the uh, HSI, um, but I'll use that to form my standard pattern. So we'll see how that works out here. We're approaching the uh, waypoint. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut it back a little bit because you know, when you're in a hold, uh, there's no need to be burning a lot of gas. You're just going nowhere. So. We're gonna we're gonna cut it back a little bit here. I don't know, maybe uh, to like 18 inches or something. Doesn't really matter a whole lot. I just don't want to be going crazy. So we're burning 10 gallons. You could even go less, you know, if you're really holding for a while. But for demonstration's sake. Here we are, and we're coming up. We got about a mile, 1.8, 1.8 miles. So again, what we're going to do is we're on nav. We are going to pass over tried, and I will start my uh, counter. Okay, we are arriving at the waypoint. Okay, and then it flips. Go to heading mode. So you see I put it on heading mode now. And we're going to start our counter. Okay, I'm using my transponder for the counter. We are now turning to... Well, actually, we want to go 30 degrees west of north because we're holding north. Go do this. So like I said, we're going to do a bit of a teardrop. Technically, I guess this is parallel entry the way we're coming in. Uh, but for the purposes of what we're doing, I, I don't think it matters. Okay, our, our counter is about 34. 
Again, we're on heading mode. So what we're going to do is I want to go, say, direct to Bride eventually. So we're going to want our we're going to want our track to be south, right? Because we're holding north. Okay, and there's our counter. Just hit one. So let's turn our heading bug. We're going to have to kind of feel this one out and see how we're doing compared to the course we want, but we want to be going south. I'm going to lead this thing so it doesn't turn the wrong way. And now we're on heading bug, and we're going to want to be heading direct south towards the waypoint. We're basically just doing our turn. As you can see, kind of a teardrop. And again, depending on wind, you're going to have to play around a little bit. I'm going to reset my counter. It looks like it's going to be pretty good, actually. Turning back in on our southerly heading. So I think I'll just go to nav at this point. Well, actually, let's... I want it to be pretty close to south. So this wasn't exactly south, but not bad. Okay. Started the counter a little late. Now again, we're going to want a right turn of the heading bug. We're on nav right now. So, something like that. And we're looking to cross tried. Once we cross tried, we'll go back to heading mode. Interestingly, it looks like we have a little wind out of the south or something because we're counters at one. I even started at a touch late. And uh, still not there. Okay, arriving at waypoint. We're looking for the flip, and there's the flip. We'll go to heading mode, so we'll begin our turn. And let's adjust this for north. <laughs> See, I went too far and it started to turn the other way. That's the trick with the heading bug. Is got to make sure you lead it. Okay. So we're turning. All this should be fine. We're going to get our counter reset. And we would, and actually this is one of the things we probably pay attention to. We start our counter once we're a beam the waypoint. And we just had a flip. Did you see that? So we're going to start our counter. So we had a flip on the HSI. So that means we were a beam the waypoint. I'm going to, it looks like there is a little wind correction. So I'm going to make sure we're going north here. Counter's at 30 seconds. And we want go to nav mode when we're coming back towards the uh, waypoint. So we're 
set about south. And there's our one. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to turn. We're going to want to turn to a heading of south. And it looks like, again, there's, I think there's some wind maybe from the southeast or something. Because we're going to be short on this turn, which is fine. We're staying clear of the protected airspace. And we'll have the same situation. When we hit the uh, waypoint, we'll get an HSI flip. We'll get our heading bug set. So that will begin our turn. We'll try to keep it in closer. It says arriving at waypoint. We're looking for the HSI flip. There's the flip. Heading mode. We're going to start turning. want to go north. Probably going to want to go further east of north on the heading because of the wind. We want to keep this one in tighter so that we're not so far to the west. Yeah, we're going to want to be further east of our last track because we know that was too far west. So I'm going to turn this in a little bit more. give it a little bit more because we really need to uh, I don't like having ugly pretzel like patterns so let's, uh, let's get this thing nice and squared up and we're getting ready to set our counter so we're looking for the HSI flip it, it did flip back because it's set to two on a southerly heading so we started our counter So we're nice, we're, we're in tighter than we were last time, so I think that's going to shape up nicely. Like that. We're going to get ready to go back to nav. And our nav, it should be closer to south this time, so we'll have to see where we're at. By the way, if th this is kind of an ad hoc hold, but if this was an actual, like, published hold, um, like after an approach, for instance, um, after a missed approach, then it's actually in the GPS, and the GPS hold is a uh, lot lots easier because the GPS just manage it. But I wanted to do an ad hoc hold here to show how these are the autopilot. So here we go, we got one minute. So we're gonna go ahead and begin our turn in. So we're turning to the right. And we're going to want to come out so we're roughly get a southerly heading to hit Pride. I reset my counter. We'll see how well this lines up. I think this should be pretty good. Still probably going to be to the west. I think we have a east wind up here. Go nav. So it was closer, but it's still not enough. So anyway, you guys get the picture. With the holds, you work the wind, you compensate, and eventually you get a, a, a nice, tight racetrack pattern. I'm out of practice. Um, but anyway, you see how I'm using the, uh, the autopilot. So that was the main main point today, and I uh, hope you got something out of the video.